welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose, and today's episode is episode number 288. Before we jump into today's episode, I have two Medal of Honor birthdays to announce uh, for this week. One is from two days ago, and one is for tomorrow. So first, we will start with uh, wishing Specialist Michael Fitzmorris a happy birthday. He just turned 69. He is a recipient from the Vietnam War, as well as another recipient from the Vietnam War, Colonel James Fleming. His birthday is actually going to be tomorrow, and he'll be turning 77. So very happy birthday to those two Living Medal of Honor recipients. And uh, that's all I got for today. Now let's move on with episode number 288, going back to World War I. And now, a tale of honor. Samuel was born on the 17th of October, 1891, in Monroe, North Carolina. He was a second lieutenant in the U.S. Army when he fought in World War I, and it was his actions in France on the 18th and 19th of July, 1918, that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity above and beyond the call of duty, during the attack the 2nd and 3rd Battalions of the 28th Infantry were merged and after several hours of severe fighting successfully established a front-line position. In doing so, a gap was left between the right flank of the French 153rd Division on their left and the left flank of the 28th Infantry, exposing the left flank to a terrific and flayed fire from several enemy machine guns located in a rock quarry on high ground. 2nd Lieutenant Parker, observing this serious situation, ordered his depleted platoon to follow him and attack upon the strong point. Meeting a disorganized group of French colonials wandering leaderlessly about, he persuaded them to join his platoon. This consolidated group followed 2nd Lieutenant Parker through direct enemy fire and machine gun fire to the crest of the hill, and rushing forward, took the quarry by storm, capturing six machine guns and about 40 prisoners. The next day, when the assault was continued, 2nd Lieutenant Parker, in command of the merged 2nd and 3rd Battalions, was in support of the 1st Battalion. Although painfully wounded in the foot, he refused to be evacuated and continued to lead his command until the objective was reached. Seeing that the assault battalion was subjected to heavy enfilade fire due to a gap between it and the French on its left, 2nd Lieutenant Parker led his battalion through this heavy fire up on the line to the left of the 1st Battalion and thereby closed the gap, remaining in command of his battalion until the newly established lines of the 28th Infantry were thoroughly consolidated. In supervising the consolidation of the new position, 2nd Lieutenant Parker was compelled to crawl about on his hands and knees on account of his painful wound. His conspicuous gallantry and spirit of self-sacrifice were a source of great inspiration to the members of the entire command. Three months after these actions, Samuel disregarded his own safety and charged a machine gun that was 150 yards away and was firing at him. He killed the gunner with his pistol, and this earned him the Distinguished Service Cross. He also earned two Silver Stars, the Legion of Merit, and received two Purple Hearts. After the war, Samuel worked in the textile industry, was also married to Mary Lou Morris, and they had three children. On the 7th of May, 1936, Samuel received the Medal of Honor from President Roosevelt in a ceremony at the White House. Present with him was his wife, their daughter and son, his brother, Congressman Malcolm Tarver, and the Army Chief of Staff, Major General Malin Craig. During World War II, Samuel was stationed at Fort Benning in Georgia to assist with the training of soldiers. He reached the rank of lieutenant colonel before the end of his time in service and spent his retirement in North Carolina. Samuel Iredell Parker died on the 1st of December, 1975, at the age of 84, and is buried in the Oakwood Cemetery in Concord, North Carolina. His wife joined him and their infant son seven years later. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com where you can read these stories, see other ways to support the show, and easily share a story with your friends and family. Tales of Honor Podcast is written and produced by Christoph Ambrose, and theme song, A New Beginning, is by Ben Sound. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.